Pizza Group has announced its results for the 52 weeks ending December 26, 2021. UK-based business, a franchise of Domino's Pizza in the US, witnessed robust sales growth despite multiple challenges like inflation and staffing issues. The FTSE 250 listed company's total system sales were up by 11.2% driven by higher pizza orders during lockdown. Plus, a positive TV ad campaign and key events like the Euro Soccer Tournament helped boosting takeaway orders. The total group revenue was at £560.8 million while the underlying EBITDA rose by 8.7% to $136.4 million. Domino's Pizza reported growth in order numbers mainly due to excellent service standards and continued recovery in collections. Out of the total orders received, around 91.2% of all of them were through digital channels. Plus, the average delivery time of order was around 25 minutes, and as a result, the underlying profit before tax increased by 12.5% to £113.9 million. In December of last year, the company reached a resolution with its franchises. As a part of the resolution, Domino's Pizza will invest £20 million over the next three years to accelerate digital growth and open new stores. Following the agreement, Domino's Pizza expects medium-term system sales of at least £1.6 billion to £1.9 billion, and it plans to open over 200 new stores. What's more, the company expects its underlying EBITDA and EPS to be in line with market expectations for the new financial year. Their board has proposed a final dividend of 6.8 pence per share, which will be paid to eligible shareholders on the 10th of May 2022, bringing the total dividend payout to 9.8 pence per share for 2021. Plus, a new £46 million share buyback program was announced recently. But despite all this, Domino's Pizza stock is down by over 22% year-to-date as investors fear rising cost inflation might be impacting the business's operations. However, the company's flexible and robust business model may help it to overcome these challenges. The recent decline in share price is mainly due to the overall sell-off in UK stock markets due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The resolution with its franchises will help the company most likely to boost its sales numbers in 2022. Now that's your speed, hit that bell icon to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Calcane Media.